another issue that I think figures to be um, a, a challenge uh, for Israel in the coming administration, it's been a challenge already for the last four years, is this question of uh, Israel's trade relationship with China. Uh, China accounts for something like 10 to 15 percent uh, of Israel's economy right now, which is significant. Uh, of course, there are going to be people who are going to say, well, how did that happen? And the answer is quite simple. Every country in the world uh, did what the United States and, and others have done, which is to engage uh, in commerce with the Chinese, the cheap labor, the cheap uh, products, etc. So what's happened over time is the Chinese have invested in Israel's uh, startup technology, uh, in, in its high tech, in, in, in an attempt also to acquire uh, weapons technology as well. Uh, the Trump administration was very forthright with the Israelis, demanded that Israel start to screen these investments more carefully, and in fact, to weed out certain Chinese investments to safeguard the US-Israel relationship. The Israelis stood up a screening mechanism. They did so rather quickly. And I think they've done a, a good job, not a perfect job, but a good, a good job in doing so. Um, they have also uh, successfully blocked the Chinese from their 5G network. Uh, but I think a lot of work still remains. And it will be a very interesting thing to see whether the Biden administration pushes the Israelis uh, as hard as the Trump administration did to decouple from China. The Israelis, of course, need to be extremely careful here because what they don't want is to turn China into an enemy. I'm sure they have no problem downgrading the relationship slowly, step by step, but doing so by ripping off the Band-Aid, so to speak, could cause uh, havoc for the Israelis, and this is certainly something they want to try to avoid. So watching this triangle, this U.S., uh, China, Israel triangle will be a fascinating dynamic to watch uh, for the Biden administration in the first few months.